You're listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. I'm John Stonge, and today we're in 1 Corinthians chapter 8, and we'll be reading from the Christian Standard Bible. Now about food sacrificed to idols, we know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge puffs up, but love builds up. If anyone thinks he knows anything, he does not yet know it as he ought to know it. But if anyone loves God, he is known by him. About eating food sacrificed to idols, then, we know that an idol is nothing in the world, and that there is no God but one. For even if there are so-called gods, whether in heaven or on earth, as there are many gods and many lords, yet for us there is one God, the Father. All things are from him, and we exist for him. And there is one Lord, Jesus Christ. All things are through him, and we exist through him. However, not everyone has this knowledge. Some have been so used to idolatry up until now that when they eat food sacrificed to an idol, their conscience, being weak, is defiled. Food will not bring us close to God. We are not worse off if we don't eat, and we are not better if we do eat. But be careful that this right of yours in no way becomes a stumbling block to the weak. For if someone sees you, the one who has knowledge, dining in an idol's temple, won't his weak conscience be encouraged to eat food offered to idols? So the weak person, the brother or sister for whom Christ died, is ruined by your knowledge. Now when you sin like this against brothers and sisters and wound their weak conscience, you are sinning against Christ. Therefore, if food causes my brother or sister to fall, I will never again eat meat, so that I won't cause my brother or sister to fall. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your word, and we thank you for the privilege that it is to be able to read it together today. And Lord, we're grateful for the privilege that you've given us to grow in our knowledge of you and in our knowledge of your word. And Lord, as our knowledge grows, we pray that our knowledge wouldn't be something that puffs us up, but would prompt us to a greater love of you and a greater love of others. And Lord, we pray that we would be mindful of the fact that our brothers and sisters in Christ are at different levels of spiritual maturity. And Lord, we pray that if we have more knowledge than another brother or another sister in Christ, that we would be careful not to make them stumble as we exercise that knowledge, that we would learn to sacrifice some of our preferences, and that we would put the needs of others above our own so that they would be edified instead of being discouraged in their walk with you. Thank you, Lord, for a challenge that we receive like this from this portion of Scripture today. And we pray, Lord, that we would continually seek to honor you as we grow mature in our faith and as we display that faith and display the knowledge that we have of your word to our brothers and sisters in Christ. Help us to do it all with love for you and love for them. We're grateful, Lord, for your word, and we're grateful for the privilege to be able to read it together today. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks again for listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. Once a week, typically on Tuesdays, we email our listeners a brief devotional and a word of encouragement through our newsletter. If you'd like to start receiving our newsletter in your inbox, please visit DesireJesus.com and click on the newsletter link to sign up. Thanks again for listening, and have a wonderful day.